Welcome into this True Blue preview of Hamadou Diallo. He's the UK player that we almost didn't get to see because he came in in the spring and didn't go on the court. He practiced with the team, did not play in any games. Then he decided he would test the NBA waters. Good for him because he got to learn all about his game. And what we may learn about his game this season is he could be one of the best dunkers in college basketball. Hey, can a college dunk like you? Yeah. I don't think better than me, but as me, yeah, you could say. So you think you're the best dunker in college? Yeah, definitely. Can you see someday being in the All-Star Game with the NBA dunk contest? Uh, I mean, definitely a thought. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but definitely a thought, and it will be nice. you have a special dunk for that, or you'll think about it? I haven't really thought about it yet. <laughs> Has this been a whirlwind that's crazy from Queens, where I'm from Long Island, yep. to here, to maybe the NBA, to back to here? I mean, the last about year, year and a half, would you say it's been a little crazy for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, but definitely something that I work for, so I feel like just a bunch of hard work paying off, and I'm just happy for the opportunities that I had, and I'm just happy where I am, though, today. Get everything out of discussion. Were you this close to going to the league? I was definitely close. I mean, it was definitely a up-and-down decision throughout the whole process. But Nerve-wracking? Definitely nerve-wracking. Pressure? I wouldn't say pressure. I don't really feel like I ever have pressure on me because... You I'm never the, have pressure on you. Nah, because I'm the, always the one making the decision, and I'm the one that's going to have to deal with it, so I don't see really pressure being a factor. That's a great attitude. Where'd you get that? I mean, just that's just the type of person I am. You've always been like that? Definitely. Did you have a guarantee? Because I heard pro and con, and I never knew what the truth was. Did you have a guarantee for the first round, or you weren't sure? Uh, something not to talk about, but, I mean, I had a bunch of teams contact me. Uh, a bunch of teams showed interest, but, I mean, it was just... I just made a decision to come back because I felt like it was the best thing for me and my family. When, when you go through the workouts, what, did, what kind of advice do they say, hey, you know, how many work on this, work on that, work on that? What, what do they tell you to work on to get better? As you, you know, you're a young guy, but you know, just to grow and develop. Uh, just work on my frame, work on being consistent, and just work on my skill set and just get reps in the gym. That's the only way to get consistent on shooting and skill set and things like that. Just getting in the gym and making sure that I'm loving the game and I'm do trusting my work. Game? Definitely. Talk about the love of the game. I mean, I just fell in love with the game ever since I was young. I mean, I just couldn't go a day without playing it, and it's just like now. I can't go a day without playing it, so. Can't go a day? Can't. It's I mean, too, it's in your blood. Yeah, it's too hard now. I mean, it's just, it's like I eat, sleep basketball now. Okay, so if somebody says, we can, we'll take you to the best beach in the world, expense paid for a whole week, but you can't play any basketball. No, I can't do that. I'm going to find a way to play basketball out there. <laughs> <laughs> Even if the deal is no basketball? I'm going to have to find a way. I'm going to sneak out or do something. I mean, <laughs> it's, just, it's, just in my, it's just in my blood now. I mean, I can't go a week. That's too long. Can't That's do it. Too long, yeah. Have you been in here 2 o'clock in the morning sometimes just shooting around? Yeah, definitely. Who up? Did you have your own key? Yeah, we got yeah. our own key. You so. got your own key? Yeah. Easy to turn the lights on? Easy. One is, button. Is it pretty cool being in a gym like as good as this by yourself 2 o'clock in the morning? Just kind of playing? I mean, that's a great thing about it. I mean, we got 24 hour, 24 access to the gym. I've been in here at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. So I've been in here all times of night, days. So that's the best thing about it, that you, if you can't sleep and you're motivated, you can just come to the gym, get up shots, and go right back to your room. So What's the best thing you do? What's the worst thing you do? On the court? Yeah. I mean, the best thing I do, I think I'm a two-way player. I mean, I'm a competitor, and I like to get after it on both sides of the court. Worst thing you do, or maybe let me put it another way, thing you need to yeah, work Yeah, I don't on. really think I have a worst thing I do, but the thing I need to work on the most, I would say, is just being consistent. That's what I really trying to pride on, and that's what I've really been working on this offseason. Can I ask you the question you're going to hate the most? People say your shot's not that good. Is that yeah. a bunch of baloney? I mean, my shot could get much better. I mean, I wasn't consistent at a point. I wouldn't say my shot wasn't good. It was just shots that I was taking that made it not look as good, but I was just learning the game. And right now, I'm just in the gym every day, working on my shot, working on my skill set, and just trying to prove everybody wrong. I mean, that's been my motto ever since. So. You, got, you got a little fire in your belly. Definitely. Do you hate it when somebody asks you a question, like people say you can't shoot, that bother you? No, it doesn't. Take you off? No. I mean, I'm going to get asked questions that I don't want to get asked for the rest of my life. I mean, you just got to deal with it. 
sometimes adversity hits and you got to bounce back. Good problem to have, which means you're doing well. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Being with the program last year, even though you weren't on the court, what did you learn? How much further ahead are you in the college game by just being a part of the team, sitting on the bench, whether or not, but you were participating in practice? Uh, I would say I learned a lot, first off, just from those guys. I mean, every guy on that team was a great player. And competing with those guys is, and then coming to compete with these guys, I'm just trying to bring what they brought when they was competing against me. That's how I see it now. But I'm, oh, sorry, go ahead. But I mean, it's been great. I mean, and those guys are all doing well for themselves, and I'm happy for all of them. How did that prepare you, though? I mean, you're about to play college ball. I mean, you were part of the team last year, but you're about to start competing this year. Yeah, it definitely prepared me. I mean, just seeing things, seeing, seeing them go through adversity, seeing how they handle things, and knowing what not to do and what to do. Do you feel like you're one of the leaders? I mean, it's kind of funny to say, but you are. Yeah, you're definitely. I mean, I mean, when coach gave me that role, I mean, I was, I just took it and I haven't shied away from it ever since. I mean, just trying to be more vocal, I mean, and trying to get to know everybody and make sure everybody's on the same page. Aside from being one of the high risers in college basketball, maybe the best dunker in the game, Hamadou Diallo is also working on his shot, working on the best time and the best place to take that shot for the Wildcats. That'll do it for this True Blue preview. Many more on lex18.com. Thank you.